Okay, trying to uh, finish that uh, problem set that we have on uh, solving limits analytically. And of course, you can uh, download this file for uh, the problems for free if you want to uh, get the notes of all this stuff worked out on a PDF file. I think uh, I'm charging like a dollar or something, something ridiculous. Anyway, uh, let's look at this here. Um, we have uh, x cubed minus 64 over x minus 4. Now, you notice if I plug 4 directly in the bottom, I get 0. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to factor the top and see if we can cancel some terms out. Now, remember the 64 right here can actually be written as 4 to the third power, right? So 4 to the third power is, uh, is 64. Now, there's a way to factor this. And remember that we must rewrite the limit, right? So I'm going to try to fit all this in here. So uh, the way you're going to do this is you're going to say x minus 4, okay? And then we're going to always say x squared. Now, if this is minus, we automatically put a plus here, okay? And then uh, we're going to put the 4, carry the 4, x and this uh, end piece here is always a plus and you square the 4 and you get 16 right. and that's going to all be over x minus 4 so as you can see we have an x minus 4 in the top and an x minus 4 in the bottom and so we can cancel uh, these guys out right and now we want to rewrite the limit so we have the limit as x approaches 4 and we say now x squared plus 4x plus 16. Now you can take the 4 and directly substitute it in now. And so we have 4 squared which is 16 plus 4 times 4 which is 16 plus 16. And uh, I'll let you uh, work that out. 16 plus 16 plus 16, right? I'm sure you can figure that out. Okay, now in number 14, if you take negative 2 and you plug it in the bottom direct substitution, we're going to end up getting 0. So we want to factor this guy out. Now you notice in this problem, uh, in problem 13, there was a minus sign. Um, now I've kind of mixed it up and put a plus sign here. So I rewrite the limit as x approaches negative 2 and so we want to factor this so we say x plus and if I said 2 raised to the third power that would give me 8 right 2 to the third power so 2 to the third power is 8 so we say x plus 2 and then right here we're going to say x squared plus oh I made a mistake. So since this is a plus, we're now going to use a minus. Okay. And so we square this 2, and that gives us 4x. And then we uh, put always put a plus sign here. Right? Always put a plus sign. Now let's uh, go back up to uh, go back up to our problem here. What did we do with this 4? we ended up squaring it, right? Okay, uh, where am I at here? Okay, I think I made a slight mistake here. This should be, uh, let me erase this here real quick, okay. All right, I'm sorry, this should be a 2. And then we square this 2 and we get 4. Okay, good enough. And that's all over... I just about made a mistake there, yeah. That's all over x plus 2. Now, the, this x plus 2's cancel out. We rewrite the limit. So the limit is x approaches negative 2 of x squared minus 2x plus 4, and then we plug the negative 2 in, so negative 2 squared is 4, and negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, 
and add another 4 on, right? This 4 here. And so now we have 4 plus 4 plus 4, so that's 3 4, so that's going to be 12. Okay, moving right along here. Um, where are we at? All right, so plugging negative 2 directly in um, to here, you're just going to do the direct substitution. Now, you notice that the x plus 2 over x plus 2 cancels out, so you can rewrite this limit as x approaches negative 2 of x minus 5 and whoops a 5 not a 2 sorry about that plugging negative 2 in negative 7 alrighty and then uh, last but not least in this uh, video taking negative 1 in now if I take negative 1 and I plug it in the bottom I get 0 so that means that we might want to try factoring the top and canceling out terms and see how that works out. So I'm going to rewrite the limit as x approaches negative 1. So I'm going to factor the top out. And so I believe that's going to be an x plus 1 times an x minus 10 over x plus 1. I'm going to assume that you guys know how to factor, right? Two numbers multiply give you negative 10, and when you add them, you get negative 9, right? So we add the 1 and the negative 10, you get negative 9, and when you multiply these two numbers, you get negative 10. So the x plus 1's cancel out, and now we can uh, continue to rewrite this limit, and you should rewrite the limit. Do not make mistakes and write is equal to x minus 10 here. It will definitely be counted wrong in class. All right. So we rewrite the limit. And then we go ahead and plug in negative 1 minus 10 is negative 11. And that concludes this problem set.